I don't understand this. So many people are blaming God for the bad things that happened to them back in the past. Why is nobody blaming demons and Satan? Now, the people who have done wrong to you back in the past, were they influenced by God or by Satan and demons? If you are honest, you are going to say Satan and demons. Okay, so why are you blaming God for that? God has given us freedom of will. So we get to choose to do wrong or right. So in saying that, we have dominion or God gave us dominion over this world. So we get to choose to serve God or to not serve God. Many bad things are happening to this world. Let me say this. When Adam and Eve disobeyed God, when that happened, every human that is born on this earth is born under a curse. This is one of the many reasons why there is so much chaos in this world because of the curse. So many bad things happen to kids and stuff like that because of the curse and because of demons and Satan. But people rather blame God for it. When he gave us dominion over this world. So we have power over this world because God has given it to us. So we can make a change in this world. We don't have to continue to disobey God. When we disobey God, that brings a curse to us. So we want to disobey God and don't want any punishment when we do so. But we know that bad things are going to happen when we disobey God. So we continue to blame God for the bad things that happen to us. But we don't blame Satan and demons like they are all in hell or something like that, which makes no sense. If all demons were gone, do you know how much better this world would be by far? Think about that. If all of the demons and Satan were gone, this world would be a much better place. But, what people do, demons get into people to treat you wrongly. So what you do, you blame God. Then you go into witchcraft and all of this other crazy stuff. Speaking to demons and stuff like that. So you are joining the same entities that caused you pain, which makes no sense. So all you can see, well, God allowed it to happen. So I am going to join the same evil things that caused me the pain in the first place. I don't want to serve God because he is so mean or corrupt or whatever. Makes no sense. So you are being deceived the whole entire time. I really hope this makes sense. So many people, some people out there blame God. Then they go to witchcraft, do evil things, then blame God more for when more bad things happen to them. And then those demons are laughing at you the whole entire time. 
Think about that. We have the freedom of choice. We get to choose what we want to do. So if you choose to do the wrong thing, of course, bad things are going to happen to you. <laughs> so back when you were two or five or however age or whatever age you were, yes, that bad thing or bad things happened to you. But why did it happen to you? Was it God influencing those people to do evil towards you? No. Then who was it? Demons. Demons influencing those people. But what you are going to do is rebel against God anyways. Then wonder why more bad things are happening to you. Think about that. Demons cause you pain, so you fight against God and still do what demons want you to do. Then you hurt other people. Then those people hurt other people and blame God for it. It's all a routine. Demons continue to do the same things over and over and over again, and many people are falling for the same tricks. Yes, I used to blame God too, but when I started to read the Bible and learn more of God and have supernatural experiences and stuff like that, I started to see God is not at fault. It is demons, demons, demons. Think about that. Demons. So don't join witchcraft or any of that black magic, white magic, occult type of stuff. Stop praying to idols and your grandmother and stuff like that. Only pray to God. Serve God alone. Stop serving all of these other false gods idol gods think about that was it God that influenced your mother father uncle brother sister cousin was it them that influenced those people and more to treat you in that evil way no so why are you rebelling against God for doing what demons want you to do falling right into that trap. Think about that. It, it is so silly. Then when you go to hell, you find out the truth. Now you are going to regret everything that you have done when you could have just been obedient to God. Lucifer could not overthrow God. If you can't overthrow God, why rebel against him? There is no life in that. There is no point in that. If you can't overthrow God and take his power, why are you going to fight against him when he is going to punish you and when you die in sin, you are going to hell. So if you believe that you you are going through so much pain in this earth now. Imagine going to a place that is worse. You say that this place is hell now. No. If you go to hell, you are going to suffer many more times more than this. I don't care if you don't agree with God's rules or not. He is the king. He is the king of kings and lord of lords. Whether we like his rules or not, 
that does not matter. We have to follow him regardless because he holds the power. If I held all, all the power and I have authority over your life, whether you like me or not does not matter. Because if, if I hold authority over you, I have control over you. So I can send you anywhere I want you to, to go. So really think about that. If you can't overthrow God, obey him. The reason why you don't like God because you don't know anything of God. Because when you begin to understand who God is, then you are not going to blame him or dislike him. So really take heed to this. God bless.